Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Alicia and today we're talking about the last book haul of 2024. So let's see what kind of books I got and what I'll be reading for the rest of the year and in, into 2025. <laughs> So a lot of these books have accumulated since my last book haul video. Um, I don't think I did too bad, but I know that with these books, I probably should focus on them and not buying any more. There is one more that I want to get, but it's a special edition of one that I already have. So I won't really include that until next year's book hauls it doesn't come out until I want to say halfway through December so it's no point in making a video for one book right so let's get started with these books the first two books are non-fiction books this one is surrounded by idiots by Thomas Erickson this one sounded kind of interesting but I also wanted to see um, just what it was about. The next one, and you guys know lately I have been on a financial kick, so this falls in line, but this is The Psychology of Money by Morgan Housel? Housel? Housel. I'm going with Housel. It says the word house in it, okay? Housel. But I figured if I could get a little more insight to the psychology of money, maybe I could implement some of that and change my mindset a little bit. Those are the non-fiction ones. I don't think I have any more. So now we're getting into the fiction stuff, the fun stuff. The first one, I've been hearing a lot about this one, so I went and picked it up when I found a copy, and that is Five Brothers by Penelope Douglas. I don't own any of her other books, so if I need to read something before this one, let me know in the comments below. If not, this is where I'm starting. The next one, I probably have like four copies of this one and I didn't need it, but I wanted it. And that is Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone by J.K. Rowling. But I got it because it has sprayed edges. So I wanted to have it for my sprayed edges collection. I do plan on reading this one and I want to read the series again. I feel like this book has gotten smaller over the ages, but I look forward to reading it and having that added bonus of the sprayed edges. The next one, I believe I might already have this one. I'm not 100% sure, but I did get Zodiac Academy by Carolyn Peckham and Susan Valenti. This is book one. I've been hearing so many things about the series, so I wanted to get it. I believe this is the new cover so nice and foil and gold. Either way, I look forward to reading it. The next one is Lights Out by Nevesa Allen. I've heard so many things about this one that I wanted to give it a go. And I like the shade of blue on the cover. Another one that I think a lot of these I've heard things about through booktube. So uh, it's not really a case of FOMO, it's just I want to read what everybody else is reading. Maybe do a budding read. Um, the next book is The Honey Witch by Sydney J. Shields. This one just sounded cute, so along with everybody else reading it on booktube, I figured I would give it a go. This one, and I found out as I was buying it that it was a young, young adult. So I don't anticipate a lot of spice out of this one, but it's Pumpkin Spice and Everything Nice by Katie Sicatella. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Sorry if I butchered it. But the cover is cute. It sounded cute, so why not? We are in fall where everything is Pumpkin Spice related. Why not? And this one, I didn't know it was a thing, and I actually found this at Target. Um, but it's called The Book of Elsewhere by Keanu Reeves and China Myville. I hope I pronounced that right. But this 
is supposed to be a book based off of his berserker graphic novels so i look forward to seeing this one and what it entails and how it plays a part in those graphic novels but it was interesting to see that it was an actual book it, there's no as far as i can tell there's no pictures it's all words so we'll see we'll see the next ones i got i went ahead and got the Barnes & Noble exclusive edition of Hexed from Emily McIntyre. This is book six in her Never After series, I believe it's called. Yes, Never After series. This is her take on like the Disney villains, but with a modern twist. I was looking forward to this one, so I can't wait to read it. The next one is a sequel to The Pumpkin Spice Cafe. This is the Cinnamon cinnamon why can i say not say that word the cinnamon bun bookstore there we go this is also by lily lorelei lorelei not lorelei gilmore Lori gilmore i have gilmore girls on the brain hmm. i should watch that some more um the cinnamon bun bookstore i think these are going to be super cute and there's a christmas one that i want to get at some point I added it to my wish list. I also picked up a Christmas read. This was also a Barnes & Noble exclusive. I'm not sure why, I guess it has special content. But it's How My Neighbor Stole Christmas by Megan Quinn. This apparently is a modern retelling of The Grinch. And I like The Grinch. So we're going to read this one and see how close to The Grinch we get. But um, it's a chunky book, so I don't even know how many pages. Epilogue. Ooh, it has pictures. <gasps> wow. There's extended epilogues. 484 pages. I am here for it. And then the last two books that I got. One is called Night Shift by Annie Crown. This one had me when it said, Typical novel romance trope. Shy bookworm spends her nights working at a library until the local hot guy walks in. I want to find out what happens. And then the last one I have been seeing everybody on booktube read, and I had to have a copy so I could find out what was going on. Um, the Games That Gods Play by Abigail Owens. I did get the Sprayed Edges edition with the end pages so beautiful so i look forward to seeing if i like this one as much as some of the others and that is the end of my book haul i will with the exception of the special edition of hooked i will not be buying any more books for the rest of the year i'll be reading whatever it is i have and i probably need to go on a book buying ban for 2025 but we will discuss that in a different video when i make my goals for the new year well that is all for me in this video guys if you guys want to buddy read anything let me know in the comments below we can set that up or if you think i should prioritize any of those reads over the others let me know that too but until next time guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you in my next video bye